Today we are unboxing the brand new PlayStation 5. I'm so excited to check this out. It is console season, tech season, it is all of the things right now. Let's stop talking and let's just open this thing up. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are we all ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh my gosh, everyone's ready. I don't know if I am ready. Okay. <gasps> when they first revealed this, I know people have their opinions, but mine was that it looked pretty awesome. It's like a spaceship. It just looks cool. Like, this is cool. This is big. Whoa. Look at this. Oh my gosh, the inside of here, it has tiny little PlayStation buttons on it. So it has like the square, the triangle, the circle, but very, 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 very small. We're gonna need to get a macro in this to even get the shot. So here it is, the PlayStation 5. This is just an unboxing, so not only are we gonna unbox the console, but I do have some accessories as well. I think this looks cool. It's not a typical look for a console. It's, it's futuristic, it's fun. If you don't like it, that's not my problem. I like it. Let's see what else we have. We have the HD camera. We've got the new DualSense wireless controller, which this also came with one, so this is exciting that we have two. And we have a DualSense charging station. And we've got the new Pulse 3D wireless headset. This actually is a really cool headset look. I wonder if I can use these for other things. Cool. Instructions, paper. Whoa, here they are. These look so cool. Here's the headphones. Do I look cool? You have the right on the right. Like. I don't know. Yeah. HD camera. Personalize your gameplay sharing, 1080p capture, background removal tool. If I ever cut myself, make sure you switch to 120 so you can really get the shot. Look at you, aren't you cute? Here we go. Now we're opening up the dual charger. This is great because this will free up a USB slot for you. Charger, 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 charger for your charger. This feels, that's a nice weight. Oh my gosh, these buttons feel really nice. That's all. Oh. Now we need another controller so it can join its friend. Oh, ah! That same pattern that is on the inside of the PS5 with like the little controller buttons are also on here, but it's so, so small. Like you, it's very hard to see. Oh, wow. Yeah, so cool. to this to fit your head. So you can see this little headband part. This just automatically kind of slides up and down. There's like these little clips right there that'll allow it to slide. So depending upon, I guess, the size of your head, this just will automatically just fit it's like magic. These are pretty comfortable, but they do feel a little bit heavier than I thought that they were gonna feel. I just, I love the look of this. Like it just looks so futuristic. I'm looking at myself in the second monitor because I'm so hyped about them. <laughs> look at this. I look like I'm about ready to command a spaceship. Maybe not, but just let me dream. 
So all of the controls are on the left side. You have your game and your chat, so you can decide which you want to hear more of. There's the off and the monitor button, which this will allow you to switch on or off if you want to hear your voice. There's a volume button, a microphone mute, USB-C, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and the on and off button. So on the front of the console, we have two USB slots. There's a USB-A, a USB-C. We have an eject button and the power button, and this is for the disk drive. And then on the back, we have two more USB ports, Ethernet, HDMI, and this is where the power goes. I like the cutout logo. This looks awesome. It's minimal, but it's also not minimal. It's like somebody walking in and like whisper yelling, hey, look at me. So I'm sure some of you guys have seen the teardowns of both the Xbox and the PlayStation console, but you guys can see that this has the cooling vents all around the side. You can see it goes all the way around the top and then also all around down the side. I can't wait to plug this in and actually try it out, but not yet. So here's the new controller. So excited to test this out. I love these buttons. It just looks really sleek. It actually feels really good and the buttons feel very, very smooth. I'm excited to try out the haptic feedback and the new adaptive triggers. It also has a built-in microphone and it feels, it feels nice. I like the little <laughs> kind of slight grippiness that they have added here. Do you want to touch it? You want to just give yeah. it, just put, the, put, your, put your paw on that. Feel how smooth these triggers are. Like, so. So these adaptive triggers, like it's really cool because they, in one of the demos that they were showing, when you're like pulling a bow back, you'll actually feel the tension. And so like if you have a sword or something, you'll be able to sort of feel what that feels like. What? Like there's entire departments that have been dedicated to just programming these triggers to give you that feedback. So here's the little stand that you can put the PlayStation on. This is a very tall console, so I think a lot of people are probably gonna wanna lay it down. Go just like that. So that's all I have for today. I will be doing a follow-up video, so if there's anything else that you guys would like me to test out or any games that you'd like to see me play, leave those in the comments below. I will also be streaming on Twitch. I've been streaming there a little bit since the whole pandemic started, so you can check that out at twitch.tv slash iJustine. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell so you'll be notified when I post new videos. We cover a lot of tech stuff here, not just specific to gaming, but phones and drones and everything in between. So I will see you guys in your subscription box if it is working. Okay, let's go turn this on. No, I'm done. I'm done. I don't want to talk anymore. I don't want to talk. I just want to play games all day.